In this video I would like to introduce you to my open source project, which I have spent thousands of hours on, and which I hope will be useful to you. It is an open source PDF editor programmed in C++ using the QD framework. The project is hosted on GitHub and has its own website, which I will show later in the video. The goal of this project is to provide a full-fledged alternative to commercial PDF editors. This is not just another PDF viewer of which there are quite many such as Ocular, Events, Sumatra PDF and others, but it is a PDF editor with many useful tools that provide the same comfort as commercial PDF editors. The project uses the LGPL license and thus allows the use of the code in the commercial applications with closed source codes while complying with the LGPL license. When programming, Emphasis is placed on performance and the use of all CPU cores when processing or rendering a PDF document. The project contains four GUI applications and one command line utility for processing PDF documents. The main application is PDF for QD Viewer Profi which contains most of the functionality and it is used for editing PDF documents It also contains several plugins that greatly expand the editing possibilities and are optional, they are disabled by default. The second application is PDF for QD Viewer Lite, a simple PDF document viewer for those who do not need to edit documents. The third application is PDF for QD Doc Page Organizer, which is used primarily for merging and splitting PDF documents or reorganizing pages in a PDF document. The last GUI application is PDF for QD Docdiff and is used to compare and display the differences between two similar PDF documents. The project also contains a command line application for document processing. It is possible, for example, to extract information about a document, encrypt or decrypt a document, render a document to a folder, and many other operations. The project is entirely written in C++ using the multi-platform Qt framework. It uses automatic management of dependent libraries using the vcpkg package manager and the Make build system. Microsoft Windows and Linux operating systems are supported. For the Microsoft Windows operating system, there is a MSI installation package and a zip archive that can be unpacked and run the application without the installation. Now we briefly look at the project website from which it is possible to go directly to GitHub. The website includes a blog where I post articles related to this project. If you are interested, here are screenshots from the application. Search function. Links. Now I can click source to go to GitHub or download to go to releases page. GitHub contains the source code as well as the installation packages. I will be very happy for your response. If you are missing some functionality or you have found a bug, don't be afraid to write an issue. So here are issues. And here are the releases. Now I will show you the several applications. The first one is PDF for QD Viewer Profi. It is an advanced PDF editor. I can show document properties. 
display. I can render to images. Here I can search the text or select the table. I can encrypt the document. I can optimize the document for the size. I can invert colors. Insert menu, go to menu. Tools, magnifier example. In the options I can switch rendering engine and select software or hardware accelerated. The program uses multi-threading by default so it is a very fast. And rendering settings. Shading settings. Here I can set the cache size for the pages that are saved to the cache so they are later rendered very fast. Here I can define custom shortcuts for each action. Color management. The program has two color engines. The first one is generic, the second one is little CMS. The latter is very good. Again, select rendering intent accuracy or adaptation. And so on. By default I do not install any color profiles. So here are not any CMYK color profiles. You can select the directory with color profiles to add your custom color profiles. Security. UI settings. Speech settings. I can use these settings so the text of the PDF document can be read using text-to-speech. Form settings. Signature settings. Plugins. The program currently contains seven plugins. Each plugin offers a different feature. They are disabled by default. For example, a Redact plugin. Redact plugin can remove sensitive content from the PDF document. Signature plugin can electronically or digitally sign the PDF document, and so on. You can explore it yourself. So this is the first application, and I will show the another one. PDF for QD Doc Page Organizer. This application is used for organizing document pages and rearranging them, splitting document, merging multiple documents. I will show you the splitting. Here I have groups of pages. I have now a single document with 58 pages. And I want to split them by bookmarks. Here are the bookmarks at which the pages are to be split. Now I have seven groups and I want to make a document from each one. So I have here three options. The first one is used to merge documents. It merges all the groups into one single document. 
The second one is used to split by pages and the third one to split documents by page groups. This is which I want. So I will select the output directory. Click OK and the result is here. Now there are multiple split documents. I can also merge the groups into one. I can add another document, for example this, and I want to merge them into one single document. Now I will show the merged document. Now I have the bookmarks, so I have this as bookmark for this first document, and this is the bookmark for second document. So documents were merged. The third application is PDF for QD Doctif, which compares two PDF documents which are similar. I will show an example. So I open left and right side documents. They are now open and I click compare. Here are the results. These are similar documents with some text. These are false positives and some added text to the right document. Pages are matching. View the left document, the right document, or overlay. This show only pages with differences. I can save differences as XML or create compare report, which creates a document with the annotations where the changed content is. So thank you for watching this video and I will be adding new tutorials for this open source project. Goodbye.